Hello Kanna, I hope that you all are fit and fine and let me tell you that I am completely fine as well. Today, I am very very excited to share you this news that the ICAI has launched artificial intelligence exclusively for chartered accountants in the name of CAGPT. We are going to learn about CAGPT, what are the different different types of GPTs introduced by ICAI and how to practically use that CAGPT also I am going to show you in the form of a live demo. Firstly, let us talk about chat GPT because CA GPT is a type of chat GPT only. This chat GPT is an artificial intelligence. I think that most of you would have used chat GPT by now. If at all you have used chat GPT and especially if it is related to the profession, please let me know in the comment section for what purpose you are using this chat GPT because I would be interested to know and maybe use that in future also. Because even me personally, I use chat GPT in my CA practice. For example, I want to draft some notice, but I want appropriate legal language. For that, I use chat GPT. Sometimes I use chat GPT to do some complex calculations. Sometimes I use chat GPT to do data analysis for my audit, etc. And now I am very, very happy that the CA Institute has given me different, different CA GPTs, which are trained in the relevant subject matter. Now, for the time being, this CA GPT has just launched the beta version. It means the product is still in the testing phase and there might be errors and mistakes that the CA GPT makes. But I'm sure that very, very soon the final product also will be launched and it will be open for all members. Because right now it is only open for the first 7,500 CAs who registered. And fortunately, I was one of those first 7,500 members. So I am able to use this platform. It is very, very interesting. Now, what is the difference between CA GPT and chat GPT? Well, if you have used chat GPT, you know that there are two disadvantages. Number one, the free version of chat GPT uses data for more than six months ago, from more than six months ago, that is around October 2023 only the data is updated. And number two, CA GPT, sorry, chat GPT takes data from multiple uh, articles on the internet. Those articles can be uh, old also, it can be wrong also, it might not have amended provisions, etc. Hence, it is not suitable to rely on the information of chat GPT for asking professional doubts. But now, this CA GPT which is introduced by ICAI is trained on exclusively the subject matter and updated with the latest provisions, circulars and notifications of that subject matter. So let me show you the CA GPT website of ICAI. So if you see the website, here it is written that it is a beta launch. It means still it is in the testing phase. Now, Institute has introduced 15 CA GPTs on different different matters. You can see here, accounting standards, Act, CA Act and Regulation, Auditing Standards, Internal Audit, Corporate Law, Digital Accounting, Direct Tax, Ethical Standards, Expert Advisory, etc, etc. So there are so many different different types of GPTs. Obviously, if I use uh, every single type of GPT, it will take a huge amount of time. So right now, I would be only showing you that live demo of three GPTs, which is most relevant for us. One is Direct Tax, one is Indirect Tax and the other one is CA Act and Regulations. So first, let us come to CA Act and Regulations, that is the ICAI Act and Regulation GPT. Let us ask this GPT some questions and let us see whether it is able to give us the answers or not. So I have some sample questions noted with me. Let us ask those questions. First question that I put is, can I advertise my services in a newspaper? So let us see what is the answer. Okay, it is very very clear. No, you cannot advertise your services in a newspaper because it is regulated by the Institute of ICAI Act. So here it is very very appropriate. It is unethical to advertise your services as a chartered accountant. Let us ask it one more question. I really want to audit one person. Can I go to his shop and offer him some audit services? Let us see. It has given the answer immediately. No, you cannot directly approach a person to offer audit services at their shop because it is solicitation. If you are a CA final student, you will definitely know this provision. Next. Quickly, let us ask it. Who is eligible to write CA final? So it has given the conditions to write CA final. So completion of intermediate, completion of articleship, registration for CA final course and advanced ICI TSS. Here I feel that in uh, case of the new syllabus, it is also compulsory to complete the 
six month training but here it is talking about the 2.5 years of article ship so it is talking about the old scheme and not the new syllabus so here there can be some upgradation and also it does not talk about the uh, the new modules that have been introduced by icai and passing those modules so that can also be improved i think next let's see what does it answer if i pass my intermediate in may 2024 exams when will i be able to write ca final so this is an indirect question which we are asking to ca gpt so it has given the answer if you pass ca intermediate you can write your ca final exams after completing article ship of 2.5 years so here also it is taking the period of 2.5 years instead of taking 2 years plus 6 months so let us just try to counter question this ca gpt you are talking about old syllabus please tell me about new syllabus ca final let us see if it can answer or not so here also it was unable to answer so i think the new syllabus provisions i think it is yet to be updated in this platform so let's wait for that update i am sure that that will also be upgraded very very soon now let's come to gst that is ica gst and indirect taxes gpt so let us ask the questions so first question i want to ask is see here also they have given some sample questions so if you want to ask one of these sample questions also you can ask the ca gpt so let us ask this sample question what are the key changes in gst in 2024 if we just click on it automatically the question will be asked and the gpt will answer that question so it is giving us all the provisions e invoicing has been reduced from 10 crores to 5 crores in gst registration they are going to bring biometric registration i think recently there were some uh, circulars introduced uh, after the gst council meeting those circulars also have been summarized in this answer so here in gst it is giving us the latest updates let me ask let us ask some complicated questions in gst so here i have put in a question if i have a gst registration in tamil nadu and i receive rent from my immobile property in kerala do i need to take gst registration in kerala or can i issue invoice from tamil nadu itself so this is a complicated question and even in ca circle there is some ambiguity regarding this provision so let us see what gpt is answering it is telling if you have a gst registration in tamil nadu and if you re receive rent from commercial immobile property in kerala you need to take a gst registration in kerala according to gst law the place of supply for immobile property is where the property is located therefore you must register in the state where the immobile property is situated and issue invoice from that state so it is telling that if at all i am having a immobile property in kerala then i should take a registration in kerala also for receiving that rent on immobile property fine so this is ca gpt's answer now let us ask some uh, question which probably the law cannot answer and let's see how ca gpt is answering that question i have asked it the question if gst department issues me a show cause notice under section 73 and schedules a personal hearing but gst officer is absent in the personal hearing then what should i do let us see what is the answer okay it has given so if i go for a personal hearing but officer is absent in the department then what should i do it is given giving five remedies first record the absence ensure that the absence of gst officer is officially recorded you can request a written acknowledgement from the department confirming the officer's absence okay next request a new hearing date submit a formal request to the gst department for rescheduling of personal hearing mention the officer's absence and request a new date very good written submission if rescheduling is delayed consider submitting your written representation evidence arguments against the show cause notice to the gst department so first two recording the absence and new hearing this we can upload it on the portal telling that we had attended the personal hearing but the officer was unfortunately not present and that is why we request for a new hearing date so that is one uh, solution given by ca gpt then written submissions 
we can try to submit the reply on the GST portal itself and there is one more mechanism that we can do a registered post to the GST officer. So that is also there. Next step. Escalate the matter. If the issue persists, you may escalate the matter to a higher authority. So we can complain to the higher authority and then legal recourse. So if the officer is not present, we can obviously go for uh, we can obviously go for high court telling that we are not getting the legal remedy in our case by filing a writ petition. So very very interesting answer given by GST GPT. Now lastly let us go to income tax GPT. So we will ask one easy question and one tough question. Okay. Okay, now let us ask the first question to ICAI Direct Taxes GPT. What are the income tax rates for assessment year 24-25 under both the tax regimes? Let us see whether it is able to identify that there are two tax regimes that is old regime and new regime and give correct tax rates for both. So first it is starting with old regime. Okay, this is the correct rate for individuals below 60 years. Then from 6... 60 and above but below 80 it is given the correct rates See, senior citizens also it is giving the correct rates but when it comes to the new tax regime under section 115 BAC it is giving the rates of assessment year 23-24 but not 24-25 can we try to cross question it and try to bring the correct rates let us see the rates given Give me the correct rates for assessment year 2024-25. Let us see whether it is able to give the correct rates or not. So there is one thing which is clear that even though it is very very helpful and it is taking the knowledge directly from the provisions, still you have to recheck the answers that is, that is given by uh, CAGPT to be absolutely sure that whether you can advise the same to the clients or not. That is one thing that I am noticing. Now let us see whether it is able to give correct rates. Yes, now I think it is able to give the correct rates. Up to 3 lakh rupees it is nil, then up to 6 lakhs 5 percent, 9 lakhs 10 percent. Okay, so this information so this information was already there with uh, uh, CAGPT. But here above 15 lakhs it is giving 25 percentage. This tax rate is actually not correct. Above 15 lakhs, 25 percentage is not correct. So here also I think there needs to be some improvement in CAGPT when it comes to the tax rates. Because if the rates are wrong, then I don't think it will be able to calculate the correct tax. So easy question, it is, did not score passing marks. Now let us ask the tough question and see whether it is scoring passing marks or not. So I am asking a capital gain question to CAGPT. If I am selling my residential house for 10 crores on 4th of July 2023, which was purchased on 10th May 2005 for 1 crore, what will be my capital gain and how can I avoid paying taxes on capital gain? So let us ask this question which is a little complicated about the capital gain chapter. So first it is calculating index to cost of acquisition. Okay. Formula it has given correctly. I don't know whether the final answer is correct or not but it has given 2, 2 crore 20 2 crore 97 lakhs 43,000. This same question you can also work out on your end and see whether it is correctly given by CAGPT or not. So then it has calculated long term capital gain as 7 crore 2 lakhs 56,000. On seeing overall it is looking correct but I am not sure whether exactly the figures are correct or not. And then it has also given the ways to avoid or minimize the tax. So the different different exemptions it has told us about section 54, 54 EC, capital gain account scheme etc. And it has also given us the examples how we can save tax using these sections. It has also given us a summary of its answer. So in the easy question I think it is not performing that much but in the tough question it is performing really well. So obviously this uh, CAGPT is in the beta stage there are lot loads of things to improve and definitely that improvement will come in the times to come. Let us wait and watch and ICI is even told that on other matters also it is going to start launching the GPT. So I am very very excited what new GPTs are going to be released by ICAI. Let us wait and watch. If at all there is an interest up, interesting update in this then I will surely tell it to you. And let us do one fun activity. If you have watched this video till here 
the first 10 people who comment any question on this youtube video i will ask that question to the relevant ca gpt and that answer is there no whatever answer comes i will post it as the reply to that comment so uh, and the people who are not the first 10 people to comment obviously you can see what the answers are let us do this fun activity and see what is the replies given by uh, ca gpt so let your questions pour in the comment section below see you in the next video dear till then take care bye bye